Hello guys, today I'm here with a new tutorial, and in this video I'm gonna show, how to dual boot Windows 10, and Mac OS Big Sur on separate hard drive. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for latest updates. So guys let's start. The major benefit of dual booting Windows 10 and Mac OS, on separate hard drive is that, you need not to map or remap for booting from open core boot picker. For this purpose, you'll require Mac OS Big Sur installer, Belena Etcher for creating Windows 10 bootable USB, command file for creating Mac OS bootable USB, open core for mounting EFI partitions, and EFI preset according to hardware. For creating EFI for yourself, follow the guide from iButton. Windows 10 ISO file, and two USBs, one with at least 16 GB, and other with at least 8 GB is required. So the very first step is to create Mac OS bootable USB. For that plug your USB, and as you can see the USB appeared here. Open Disk Utility and erase the USB with following parameters. Click on Done. Close Disk Utility and Utilities as well, open the command file, and copy the whole command, and paste it to terminal and press enter key, enter your password and confirm origin of the USB. And now the USB is being created. USB has been created successfully, quit terminal. Open open core configurator, and mount the EFI partition of USB, quit open core configurator, now copy the EFI folder to the EFI partition of USB. Close the folder, and copy open core configurator to USB, eject the EFI partition and USB as well. Now plug another USB, and as you can see the USB appeared here, open disk utility and erase the USB with following parameters. Click on Done, eject the partition named USB, close Disk Utility and Utilities as well. Now, open Blaina Etcher, click on Flash from File, and locate the Windows 10 ISO file. Click on Continue. Click on Select Target and choose the USB. Click on Flash and enter the password. Press Enter key and the USB is being created. USB has been created successfully, quit Lena Etcher. And now we're ready to install, power on your PC and boot to BIOS. Load the BIOS defaults and exit the BIOS saving changes. Your PC will restart, boot back to BIOS. Now, change the following settings. Now exit BIOS saving changes. Plug Big Sur bootable USB and boot to boot menu. Select the USB followed by the UEFI prefix, and press enter to boot. And here, no drive is showing, as I have already formatted the SSD. Press enter to boot.
Select your language and click on right arrow button. Select Disk Utility, and click on Continue. Click on View, and select Show All Devices. Now select your drive instead of any partitions, and erase the drive with following parameters. Click on Done and Close Disk Utility, now select Install Mac OS and click on Continue, and continue with the setup. Select Macintosh HD and click on Continue. And now, Mac OS Big Sur is being installed. And guys, during this process your PC will restart several times, so don't worry about that. To use English as the main language, press the return key. And wow, we booted to Big Sur installer setup screen. Continue with the setup. Continue with keyboard setup. Now, copy Clover Configurator to desktop. Open Clover Configurator, and mount the EFI partition of system drive and USB as well. Quit Open Core Configurator. Now, copy the EFI folder from the EFI partition of USB, and paste it to EFI partition of system drive. Close the folder, and eject EFI partitions and USB as well. Now shut down your PC. Remove the Mac OS drive and install another drive. And before turning on your PC, Plug Windows 10 bootable USB. Power on your PC and boot to boot menu. Select the USB followed by the UEFI prefix and press enter to boot. Choose your language and proceed with the installer. If you do have the product key, enter it, otherwise proceed with other option. Select the version you want to install, and continue with the installer. Here I have already formatted the SSD, if your installer is showing any partition, then delete all partitions, and select the drive and click on next, and Windows 10 is being installed. Continue with the installer setup.
And here, we have booted to Windows 10, so now you will need to install all the drivers required, you can update your Windows 10 for installing the drivers, or can download and install it directly from manufacturer's site. After installing the drivers, shut down your PC, and install Mac OS Drive. Now power on your PC, and boot to BIOS. Now go to Boot tab, and make UEFI OS to first boot option, and exit the BIOS saving changes. Your PC will restart, and will boot automatically to open core boot picker. From here, you can boot into Windows 10 as well as Mac OS. So firstly, we will check Windows 10. Windows 10 is working absolutely fine, let's check Mac OS. So finally, we have full working dual boot on separate hard drives. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And for more updates stay connected and have a great day.